LA rebels who remain on the run in the Central African region are now allegedly killing elephants and selling their tusks to facilitate their rebel activities. There is an account by one gentleman who was abducted by the LRA and he says in that one year alone he was involved in shooting the elephants and after that of course they remove the tussocks, stripe them off, then carry them to the camp and he says in that one year of captivity he carried, he participated in carrying meat from these, from six elephants. According to the report, the former abductives of the LRA rebels, they say that some of the people suspected to be involved in the ivory trade normally come in helicopters, but nobody knows where they come from or where they take the ivory. What I'm sure of is that he's using local middlemen who might be finding market either locally or outside Central African Republic. The, 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 the market for dead ivory, they take it to Khartoum. There is no any other town or else they take it to who, wherever they might have uh, got a link. Uh, the African Union, they are the monitoring groups are there. So I think this is completely not true. The report also reveals that the rebels are now growing food crops in the mineral-rich Kafia Kingi enclave that sits between South Sudan, the Republic of Sudan, the Central African Republic and Chad. Food items like maize, sim sim, and the millet, yeah. So that is also, that is for their like upkeep and eating. Experts believe corn is taking advantage of the fluid situation in the enclave after the south and north in a peace deal agreed to withdraw their troops from the contentious belt. So we are uh, really uh, warned that uh, that area, if Khartoum does not uh, withdraw from it, it might even uh, affect the, the, the boundary problems, not only with the these terrorists are operating in it, but also in the wild animals. Uh, the uh, Sudanese armed force uh, completed, they are withdrawn uh, from the specific area. It's also alleged that corn is now employing new methods of survival. They try to avoid attacks. And the idea is they, they seem not to want to draw attention to themselves or their presence in the area. Korn is wanted by the International Criminal Court for war crimes and crimes against humanity for crimes committed in northern Uganda. The atrocity which was taking place in Uganda was done by Uganda government. Only that I don't have means or I don't have good communication to the world. The report released today estimates Korn's force to have between 250 to 400 fighters. <laughs> Despite their small numbers, the report highlights that between December 2009 and April 2013, at least 1,260 people were killed by the rebels. It also indicates that 2,842 people were abducted and over 440,000 displaced. In April this year, the U.S. offered a reward of up to $5 million for the fugitive rebel leader and some of his top ADs, Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.